All right. We have an issue. We have a situation. And <clears throat> as with everything, we are a synagogue assembly that when we hear, we'll walk in it. Amen. When we see, we'll make changes, right? That's what we got to do. And the situation has come up concerning the name of Yeshua. That's the problem we got. <clears throat> with the name Yeshua. The name Yeshua, we'll take and look up his definition for his name, come out to be cry out. They say it would be more profitable or more fitable or more profitable, more fitting to use the name Yasha, which would be a deliverer. So now we have an issue with the name Yeshua, simply because of the cry out. This is St. John chapter 6 at verse 44. <clears throat> Listen to the book. No man can come to me except the Father which hath sent me draw him. And what you going to do? I will raise him up at the last day. Tell me what's written. It is written in the prophets. Who? And they shall be all taught of God. Every who? Man therefore that hath heard. And? Have learned of the Father. Cometh well. Unto me. He said they come unto me. Mm. Let's see what he told me. Matthew chapter 11 and verse 28. Listen to the book. Come unto me. Come unto me. All ye that labor and are heavy laden. What you going to do? And I will give you rest. What you want me to do? Take my yoke upon you. And do what? Learn of me. That's what we look to do, right? We want to learn of him. Isn't that right? That's what we're doing. It told us already, written the prophet, that they shall all be taught of God. Every man therefore that had heard and had learned of the who cometh well. Unto me. St. John chapter 5 verse 39. <clears throat> Listen to the book. Search the scriptures. Search the the who? Scriptures. Such the what now? Scriptures. For what reason? In them you think you have eternal life. If this, now he said in the scriptures, he said you think that you have life in that. But what are they doing, son? And they are they. Which do what? Testify of me. Tell me about you. And ye will not come to me. Yes. That ye might have life. Listen what he said. I receive not honor from men. Yes. But I know you that ye have not the love of God in you. Listen. I am come in my father's name. What did you do? I am come in my father's name. And what happened? Ye received me not. He said he came in his father's name, and we received him not. Listen. <clears throat> if another shall come in his own name, what will happen? Him you will receive. You hear that? Somebody came in their own name and said, you'll receive him. He said he came in his father's name. But if somebody else came in another name, he said you will receive them. Listen. How can you believe which receive honor one of another? Listen. And seek not the honor that cometh from God only. Listen. Do not think that I will accuse you to the father. What happened? There is one that accuseth you, even Moses. There is who? One that accuseth you. Even who? Moses. What did Moses do now? In whom ye trust. Who accused us? There is one that accuses you. Even who? Moses. What happened with him? In whom ye trust. So what did that have to do with anything? For had ye believed Moses. What would have happened? Ye would have believed me. Why? For he wrote of me. 13th chapter of the book of Numbers at verse 1. Listen to the book. And the Lord spake unto Moses, saying. And the Lord spake to who now? Moses, saying. What did he say? Send thou men. That they may search the land of Canaan. How many? Which I give unto the children of Israel. Yeah. Of every tribe of their fathers shall ye send a man. Like what? Every one a ruler among them. Every one a ruler among them? So how many were they live? How many? Come on. And Moses, by the commandment of the Lord, sent them from the wilderness of Paran. All those men were heads of the children of Israel. That would give us 12 men. Amazing, Yeshua came on the scene. He sent out 12 apostles. Moses told us a prophet, the Lord God going to raise up like in the middle of the brother. Him, you should hear. Moses wound up having to send out 12 men from out of the tribe here, so the family. At verse 6, listen. Of the tribe of Judah, yeah. Caleb, the son of Jephunneh. Caleb, the son of Jephunneh. Come on. Of the tribe of Issachar, yeah. Egal, the son of Joseph. Yeah. Of the tribe of Ephraim, uh -oh. who? Oshea, the son Which of Nun. Would be who? Joshua. Joshua. Hoshea. They would spell it with an H. You got an O right here. 
Isn't that right? Hoshea, that's who they sent out. What did his name mean? Salvation. Save. That's what Hoshea would have meant. Shea. Would have been to say. Would have been to save. Come on down and give me about verse 16. Make it verse 15. Listen. Of the tribe of Gad. Yeah. Uel, the son of Maki. Yeah. These are the names of the men which Moses sent to spy out the land. These are the names of the men which Moses sent out to spy the land. End of the story, Brandon. No, sir. What else happened? And Moses called Oshea, the son of Nun. And Moses called who? Oshea, the son of Nun. Oshea who? The son of Nun. What did he call him? Jehoshua. Jehoshua. That's what he called him. Jehoshua. The shorter name of Jehoshua is Yeshua. That's the shorter version of his name. Amen. He called him Jehoshua. Which would have been Yah salvation. That's what he called him. Yah salvation. Where the people kind of get themselves mixed up at and they run, they start grabbing. I ain't got an email about that. Amazing, I wasn't going to tackle it. I was laying in my bed this morning, the Lord dealt with me on this. It's amazing how the Lord worked to deal with stuff. But when we go back, we can trace back what we got to the book. People think we made up something. We hadn't made up nothing. We got what the man written, what he left. That's right. That Jehoshua that he just said would have been with the Y. I let him with the Y, the I, and the J would have had the same sound. The J would not have had the J sound. The thing that you would look at when you would look at the Y, how they have it spelled, the Jehoshua there, they have it spelled what, J-E-H? Yes, sir. J -E -H, yes, sir. Which actually would have been J with an accent over it, then an H. Then you would have got the Joshua, the last part of, of the salvation. So the Y and the H are the first three letters, first two letters of the Tetragrammaton. The Tetragrammaton is our word for what it actually means, the four letters of his name. The Y-H-V-H, the Y-H-W-H, which would make sense he would have called him Yehoshua. Because that would have been the first letters of the Tetragrammaton. So when he told you, I've come in my father's name, he wasn't lying. We had the shorted version of his name, of the Yeshua. So people missed it. He tried to tell them, I come in my father's name. It wasn't by chance that Moses said he and called him man Yehoshua, which would have been the shorted version of his name. He told him in the third chapter of the book of Exodus. Pick him up at verse 14, son. Y'all all right today? All we do is look at the book. But we got a problem here. So they said the name, you got to look at his name and cry out. You got to tie that to salvation. I don't know why these people run. They might think I'm past the bubble gum. We don't have any record. Nobody can show you no Hebrew writing for no New Testament we got. They were on the Greek rule. Anything would have been more valid would have been written to them just about would have been Greek. They would have been Greek speaking Jews. They were on a Greek rule. We're, matter of fact, we're Jews. What language do we speak? English. We are English-speaking Jews. If we write, what are we going to write in? Because that's who rule we under. It doesn't mean just like we coming back and we speak some Hebrew. Now we say some Hebrew word. But it's going to be more to the to value that we're going to sit down and we write. We're going to write in our language that is native to us, isn't it? English. All these people come up with all this stuff trying to tell. A lot of stuff, I don't run fast behind everybody. Y'all know what I don't. This is me. I'm being a, I don't move fast when people come up with stuff. I do, I'm slow for I run and jump on some stuff. You run fast, people, you need to do it now. That's how people wind up going to hell. You'll be all over the place. You can't come back and correct nothing. you jump every night. you be changing every other week. If you don't set the way to let the Lord prove things out, when you see something, you can't move off everything you see. You got to move with wisdom to make sure it's of God versus people coming to give you. Everybody give you information. Most of these folks, you can't find one of the Hebrew group that all sit down and agree with anything. Everybody got a different name from them. You hire, you hire, you sure, and they go to, they'll spell it Y-A-H-S-H-U-H. You be like, you can't even write it in Hebrew. Why would you do it? It's a lot of stuff they come up and they do. You got to be ever so careful about. You're talking about our salvation. We can't afford to be bouncing all over the place like people doing. We can find where he got the name from. Pick me up at the 8th chapter of the book of uh, Nehemiah. 
Nehemiah chapter 8. Give me about verse 6. Y'all all right? Let's listen to the book. And Ezra blessed the Lord, the great God. Yeah. And all the people answered, Amen, Amen, with the lifting of their hands. And they bowed their heads and worshiped the Lord with their faces to the ground. Listen. Also, Yeshua and Benai. Now, hold, spell that Yeshua. J. J, which would be what, ver what, would be what letter for? Y. Listen what else he had. E. E. S. S. H. H. U. A. Yeshua. The name they used for Joshua. And this come along and give him the same name. This is the shorted version of what he called him. He called him Yehoshua. He realized who he was. So when Yeshua came in the name of Yeshua, he was coming in the shorter version of the long name. So he was exactly right. I come in my father's name. Because I come to save. These people sitting around, they don't know what they all over the book trying to find some. Deliverer, exactly. He's a deliverer as well. He is a Yasha. Don't take away the credibility. He's a governor. We ain't going to name him governor. All that's covered in his name. He rule over his people. Isn't that right? He's a counselor. We ain't going to name him counselor. You can find a whole lot of the Hebrew words to call him, but let's go with what they gave him. Amen. Let's see it at the seventh chapter of the book of Acts of the Apostles. See if that's chapter seven. See if it's about verse 30. Let me see what that say. Make it seven and about 37. Let's see what that say. Listen. This is that Moses which said unto the children of Israel. What did he tell them, son? A prophet shall the Lord your God raise up unto you of your brethren. Yeah. Like unto me. See, they ain't going to be like me. What are you going to do? Him shall ye hear. Come on. This is he that was in the congregation in the wilderness. Is that right? In the congregation. It would not have said church. We are congregation. Even when he told Lucifer, how thou fallen, son of the morning. Isn't that right? Who, where did he say he was going to sit at? Upon the mount of the congregation. He did not say he was going to sit in no church. He would not have sat in a place of pagan worship. He said he was going to sit upon the mount of the congregation because the people were going to be gathered unto him. Listen. In the wilderness. In the wilderness. With the angel. With the angel. Which spake to him in the Mount Sinai. Listen. And with our fathers. Come on. Who received the lively oracles to give unto us. Listen. To whom our fathers would not obey. Listen. But thrust him from them. Yeah. And in their hearts turned back again into Egypt. Mm-hmm. Saying unto Aaron, make us gods to go before us. Come on. For as for this Moses, which brought us out of the land of Egypt, we want not what has become of him. Come on. And they made a calf in those days. Mm -hmm. And offered sacrifice unto the idol. Come on. And rejoiced in the works of their own hands. Yeah. Then God turned and gave them up to worship the host of heaven. Yeah. As it is written in the book of the prophets, O ye house of Israel. What happened? Have ye offered to me slain beasts and sacrifices by the space of 40 years yeah. in the wilderness? Uh-huh. Yea, ye took up the tabernacle of Moloch. Yeah. And the star of your god, Rimphan. Come on. Figures which ye made to worship them. Listen. And I will carry you away beyond Babylon. Yeah. Our fathers had the tabernacles of witness in the wilderness. Listen. As he had appointed. Speaking unto Moses that he should make it according to the fashion that he had seen. Yeah. Which also our fathers that came after brought in with Jesus. So he gave us a time period. He was real pacific about Moses. Real pacific. Moses came, thrust him away, got the library articles. They went right back to seeking the old ways of the things they had. Now he started talking about which our who? Fathers. Fathers. That came after. That came after. Brought in with Jesus. So you telling me Jesus was there? No. I was talking about Joshua. Because the name Joshua is the name they use for translation of Jesus. Amen. Which is all transliterated from the word Yeshua. Now he was giving you a good time period. Him. This is what else he said. Into the possession of the Gentiles. Into the possession of the Gentiles. Whom God drave out before the face of our fathers. Yeah. Unto the days of David. Now you telling me he don't went from Moses to Jesus, then jump back over to David? <laughs> At the fourth chapter of the book of Hebrews, Hebrews chapter four, verse seven. It ain't family reunion until we go over there and leave and come back. Listen to the book. Again, he limiteth a certain day, saying, "In David 
Today, after so long a time, as it is said, today, if you will hear his voice, harden not your hearts. Come on. For if Jesus had given them rest. If who? Jesus had given them rest. What would have happened? Then would he not afterward have spoken of another day? So he was talking about Joshua. Joshua didn't give them rest. That's why Jesus did tell her, come unto me, all you that burn and heavy laden, and I'll give you rest. That's why he let you know in Hebrews, he started to give you an account. Back me up at 4 and 1. Let's see what happened. Listen to the book. Let us therefore fear. Less what? A promise being left us of entering into his rest, any of you should seem to come short of it. Because Moses already described to us about the righteousness of the law. He said, I set before you blessing and cursing, life and death, choose life that you who might live. You and your seed. That was a promise. Cursing and blessing. He said right before, that's the promise. Choose which one so you can live. Listen to what he said. For unto us was the gospel preached. Listen. As well as unto them. As well as unto them. Come on. But the word preached did not profit them, not being mixed with faith in them that heard it. Listen. For we which have believed do enter into rest. Come on. As he said. As I have sworn in my wrath, if they shall enter into my rest, although the works were finished from the foundation of the when world. When did he swear that? When did he swear that? Under Moses. He swore that after the people had cried, they murmured and grumbled in the 14th chapter book of Numbers. He swore not any of those people were going to enter into his rest. He swore none of them were going to enter in, although the works were finished. He said they were not getting in. So during under Moses, under Moses' promise, the covenant he gave us about us going in, the Lord came back and swore they're not getting in. Which meant that Jesus, that Yeshua, was not their rest. Come on. For he spake in a certain place of the seventh day on this wise. Yeah. And God did rest the seventh day from and, all his works. Yes. And in this place again, if they shall enter into my rest. Come on. Seeing therefore it remaineth that some must enter therein, and they to whom it was first preached enter not in because of unbelief. Yes. Again, he limiteth a certain day, saying in David, today after so long a time, as it is said, today if you will hear his voice, harden not your hearts. Come on. For if Jesus had given them rest. That's amazing. They ain't had enough sense to know that the name Jesus was transliterated from the name Yeshua, which go back to, Yah to Yehoshua. See, when you don't know this, you'll go around and look and say, well, Jesus didn't do what he said. But he did. It was not talking about him. It was talking about Joshua. Because we got the promise under Moses. The man that took the mountain after Moses was Joshua. When he asked, let the Lord, the God of spirit of all flesh, settle who? Over the what? That the congregation of the Lord be not his sheep that have what? No shepherd. And he had him to do something. What was it, brother? Take thee, Joshua. Take thee, Joshua. The son of Noah. A man in whom is the spirit. And bestow some of thine honor upon him. Bestow some of your honor upon this man. Because he was a similar to, to the man that which was to come. Ain't that right? Now we got to pick up this crying stuff. Ain't that right? Oh, we got a job to do. Pick me up at the 18th chapter of the book of Numbers. Make it the 18th chapter of... No, don't make it numbers. Make it 18 division of Psalm. Verse 1. I will love thee, O Lord. I will love thee, O Lord. My strength. My strength. The Lord is my rock. The Lord is my rock. And my fortress. Talk to me, son. And my deliverer. Yeah. My God. My God. My strength. He said the Lord is his Yasha. We ain't taking that away. That's what a delivery is. Come on. In whom I will trust. In whom I trust. My buckler. And the horn of my salvation. Come on. And my high tower. He my high tower. I will Come call upon the Lord. I will do what? Call upon the Lord. Yeah. Who is worthy to be praised. Worthy to be praised. Come on, son. So shall I be saved from mine enemies. So shall I be saved from my enemies? The sorrows of death come past me. Come on. And the floods of ungodly men made me afraid. Listen. The sorrows of hell come past me about. You hear that? I'm talking about Shiloh. The grave. He said, I'm getting close to the grave. What you want to do at this point? The snares of death prevented me. Come on. In my distress. What did you do? I called upon the Lord. And what happened? And cried unto my God. What you do? In your distress? I called upon the Lord. And did what? Cried unto my God. And what he did? 
he heard my voice. What did he do? Out of his temple. Out of his what now? Out of his temple. Out of his sanctuary? Out of his temple. And what happened? And my cry came before him. And my cry came before him. How do I know you ain't lying? Come on. Even into his ears. Even to his ears. Then the earth shook. Then the what? The earth shook. What else happened? And trembled. And trembled? The foundations also of the hills moved and were shaken. 27th chapter of the book of Matthew. Amen. Listen, this is 27, Matthew 27, 44. L listen to the book. The thieves also, which were crucified with him. What they do, son? Cast the same in his teeth. Yeah. Now from the sixth hour, there was darkness over all the land until the ninth hour. And what happened? And about the ninth hour, Jesus cried with a loud voice. What? Ho, ho. What Jesus did? Cried with See, a it don't make voice. sense to you to name Yeshua because it means cry out. See, the ye, you don't be kept. See, that's why y'all need to learn what y'all be doing. Y'all just be using name. It means to cry out, which is not appropriate for him. Listen what happened. And about the ninth hour, Jesus cried with a loud voice, saying, Eli, Eli, lama sabbathani, that is to say, my God, my God, why hast thou forsaken me? Come on. Some of them that stood there when they heard that said, This man calleth for Elias. Yeah. And straightway one of them ran and took a sponge and filled it with vinegar and put it on a reed and gave him to drink. Yeah. The rest said, Let be. Let us see whether Elias will come to save him. Come on. Jesus, when he had cried again with a loud voice, yielded up the ghost. Listen. And behold, the veil of the temple was rent in twain from the I don't top know what this means. to the bottom. From the top to the bottom. What happened? And the earth did quake, and the rocks rent. 18 and 6. Amen. Proverbs. Psalms. Psalms, I'm sorry. Psalm 18 and 6. L listen to the book. In my distress, what you do? I called upon the Lord. How did you do it? And cried unto my God. And cried unto my God. He heard my voice. He heard my voice. Out of his temple. And what did he do? And my cry came before him. Yeah. Even into his ears. Even into his ears. Then the earth shook. Then the earth shook. And trembled. And trembled. The foundations also of the hills moved and were shaken. Mm -hmm. So y'all can see where you sure wouldn't be a proper name to use for him. Let's see what the 22nd division of Psalms said, verse 1. Wonderful Savior. Amen. L listen to the book. My God, my God. My God, my God. Why hast thou forsaken me? What are you doing this for, son? Why art thou so far from helping me? Yes. And from the words of my roaring? Yes. Oh, my God, I cry stop, in the daytime. Stop, 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 stop. Y'all can see where it don't make sense to you in that man's name. You sure? It means to cry out. Y'all can see how that name wouldn't be appropriate for him? My God, my God, why art thou forsaking me? My roaring? How long was you crying, baby? When did you start crying? Oh, my God. Yeah. I cry in the daytime. And what you were doing at night? But thou hearest not. And he didn't hear you, so you stopped? And in the night season, and am not silent. Probably wouldn't make sense to give him that name. Go with Yasha. Because he you should mean to cry out. When, it wouldn't make sense to give him that name, would it? He this fella tell me he crying in the daytime and in the night season. Thirty sixth division of Psalm, right quick. Thirty fourth division of Psalm, verse one. Listen. I will bless the Lord at all times. Come on, son. His praise shall continually be. In my mouth. Talk to me. My soul shall make her boast in the Lord. The humble shall hear thereof and be glad. Listen. Oh, magnify the Lord with me and let us exalt his name together. Come on. I sought the Lord and he heard me and delivered me from all my fears. Yeah. They looked unto him and were lightened and their faces were not ashamed. Yeah. This poor man cried and the Lord oh, heard him. Oh, What happened? This poor man cried and the Lord heard him. And saved him out of all his troubles. Y'all can see why that name wouldn't be fitting. 
Y'all been using the name and cry out. Wow. Wonderful Savior. 120 division of Psalm. 120 division of Psalm at verse 1. L listen to the book. In my distress. I'm so confused. What you do, son? I cried unto the Lord. What happened, Brandon? In my distress, I cried unto the Lord. And what happened? And he heard me. Hundred and nineteen division of song. Give me about one sixty three. That ain't what I want, but let me hear what it say. I love about the ninety fifth um, verse of that same book. Matter of fact, let me hear the ninety five before we get over there. What ninety five say? The wicked have waited for me to destroy me. Yeah. But I will consider thy testimonies. Mm -hmm. I have seen an end of all perfection. Mm -hmm. But thy commandment it is exceeding broad. Yeah. Oh, how I love thy law. It is my meditation all the day. Come on. Thou, through thy commandments, hast made me wiser than mine enemies. Mm -hmm. For they are ever with me. Come on. I have more understanding than, than, who? than all my teachers. Thank the Lord. I have more understanding than all my teachers. I just love that for whatever reason it is. And 163 division of song. I'm sorry, 119 division of song at verse 163. You go back and check the people that taught me and see what they know. Listen to the book. I hate and abhor lying. Uh -huh. But thy law do I love. Listen. Seven times a day. Do I praise thee because of thy righteous judgments? Yeah. Great peace have they which love the law. Listen. And nothing shall offend them. Come on. Lord, I have hope for thy So salvation. it made sense when you sure kept asking them, doth this offend? Because you know what it proved for him. What did it say again, Brandon? And nothing shall offend them. Back it up a little bit before that. Great peace have they which love thy law. You hear that? So what happened? And nothing shall offend them. You hold what you got at St. John 6 and 60. Make it six, six, six and 55. Wonderful say. I told y'all everything he say, he got a reason to it. Let's see what happened. St. John chapter 6 and verse 55. I don't even have time to really deal with this. But then again, I ain't got nothing but time. It's on the Lord's Sabbath. Listen to the book. For my flesh is meat indeed. Yeah. And my blood is drink indeed. He that eateth my flesh. And do what? Drinketh my blood. Have what? Dwelleth in me and I in him. Keep talking, son. As the living father hath sent me. And I live by the Father. What happened, son? So he that eateth me, even he shall live by me. Yeah. This is that bread which came down from heaven. Not like what? Your fathers did eat manna and are dead. What happened? He that eateth of this bread shall, shall live do, forever. Shall live forever. These things said he in the synagogue as he taught. These things said he in the church? In the synagogue. When what happened? As he taught in Capernaum. This verse 60. Amen. What happened at that point? Many, therefore, of his disciples, when they had heard this, said, This is an hard saying. Who can hear it? And what happened? When Jesus knew in himself that his disciples murmured at it. What could he have possibly said? Man? I'm so confused. Doth this offend you? You see how you won't, take, you won't think nothing about anything that man said? You should. 119 division of song. Where you left our verse 64, 164? 166. 166. Let them get it. Listen. Lord, I have hoped for thy salvation and done thy commandments. Yeah. My soul hath kept thy testimonies, and I love them exceedingly. Bag me up, son. Make it 66. What did it say? 65. 165, yes, sir. Listen. Great peace have they which love thy law. Great peace have they that love thy law. And nothing shall offend them. He had to ask nobody what they say. I already know you ain't saved. Does this offend you? Only people didn't get mad with them that love his law. You see why it's so important? He said, we got to be taught of God. Amen. That's the only way we can come. You'll be sitting around thinking you don't like certain things, but you still say 
You ain't got, it don't mean you ain't saved because you don't go along with everything the law say. It just means you got to grow into it. Wouldn't make common sense, would it? Come on back and finish up. 160, one, verse 165. Come on. Great peace have they which love thy law. Yeah. And nothing shall offend them. Yeah. Lord, I have hoped for thy salvation. Mm -hmm. And done thy commandments. Yeah. My soul hath kept thy testimonies. Yeah. And I love them exceedingly. Mm -hmm. I have kept thy precepts and thy testimonies. Come on. For all my ways are before thee. Mm -hmm. Let my cry come near before thee. Do what? Let my cry come near before thee, O yeah. Lord. Yeah. Give me understanding according to thy word. That's why he was able to do it. Tell me, are you listening? What is your religion? Would you see me any different if I said I'm not a Christian? I tell you I'm a true Jew and I serve the holy ruler. It ain't no Muhammad or Buddha. Cause it's evident when heaven said I heard he sprang from Judah. Crucified. And where are all the truths?